You know, I think my problem is, like, I grew up thinking sex was something to be ashamed of. And I blame the public school system. Yeah, the only thing I learned there was that sex will get you pregnant or diseased, and boys won't like you unless you do it. I still have the paper mache rape whistle I made in health class. You, you can basically sum up American sex education like this. Cooties are real. Wear a condom. Cooties? Why does that childhood superstition have to be the real one? Like, what about Santa Claus? Can't we reopen the file on him? No, because Santa doesn't exist. But she probably got cooties from sitting in his lap. <laughs> so yeah, I learned that sex is creepy and it's gross. You know, so no wonder I had problems because I didn't know how to ask for what I wanted. But sex is like Pandora radio. If you don't say what you like, you end up listening to frickin' Coldplay. <laughs> And that is awful. It's the musical equivalent of wondering if it's in yet. Mmm, yellow. Yeah. I, I, I did that joke at an all ages show, and uh, afterward, this woman storms up to me and she said, I don't appreciate you talking about that filth in front of my daughter. She's only 10 years old. And I said, Lady, no offense but it's nothing she hasn't heard before. Even 10-year-olds hate Coldplay. <laughs> oh, people freak out for no reason, you know? I think everyone, everyone just gotta loosen up. Yeah, yeah just, like, just look at the whole gay issue, you know? Like, like some parents get upset because they think if gay people are accepted, kids are gonna get exposed to fairy tales about princes banging princes, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Which, first of all, is ridiculous. I haven't seen any trailers for The Lion Queen. <laughs> Fangasia. <laughs> Beast and the Beast. <laughs> or Pinocchio 2, Geppetto finds a real boy. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm Kate Gary, thank you. 